Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is December 10th, 2021, and um, I didn't really want to <laughs> try to do a, a video. I am blocked off my main channel, but um, I'm going to do a video here and I'm going to share it on my backup channel. I'll do what I can to share it through Twitter and Facebook through Facebook groups and uh, doing what I can to get this message out. Now, I am looking at December 12th with the possibility of Comet Leonard being closest to Earth as a sign as we see that Comet Leonard on December 12th is also in uh, Ophiuchus, and this is the serpent bearer, could represent Michael the Archangel, who is going to be casting out the serpent on December 12th. December 12th is the day of my sign that I received nine years ago, December 12th of 2012. And uh, so I wanted to take a look at this a little bit more and see if there is anything more significant that I can find and share with you and indeed I found something very significant that I want to share with you okay so Comet Leonard is going to be closest to Earth on December 12th we have the connection to Ophiuchus we have the connection to the name of Leonard which means lion okay and uh, the connection to Comet Ison, which was the comet that represent the sun, the coming of the sun coming. Ison cometh. Comet Ison. Okay, but now we have the lion is coming. Comet Lion, Comet Leonard, connected to the name Leonard, which means lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah. This could be the representation of the coming of the son of man, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Okay. Now, another very interesting detail is that all of the planets are going to be lined up here um, throughout from the beginning of December. And uh, we had the, the moon connected with Venus just a few days ago, maybe on the 6th. And uh, on December 12th, this report by Starwalk is saying that the best time to observe this planetary alignment is December 12th. Okay, look for the celestial objects right after sunset. Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and the moon will be visible to the naked eye. A pair of binoculars or a small telescope will help you to see the dimmer Neptune, Uranus, Ceres, and palace okay the other thing about this is that if we watch this in Stellarium okay we're gonna see this alignment with the moon is coming into Pisces okay the big fish the 153 fish the symbol of Christianity the moon in Pisces, we've got Jupiter in Aquarius, we've got Saturn in Capricorn, we've got Venus in Sagittarius, we've got Mercury and the Sun and Comet Leonard in Ophiuchus, and we've got Mars in uh, Libra, okay? And really a very beautiful lineup um, from Pisces and uh, all on one side, all, all visible here from Mars, Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter, and the Moon. Got the Sun here. Got Comet Leonard here. It's just a beautiful uh, lineup of planets on December 12th. Okay, so this report shows... Um, that December 12th is going to be the best day to see this 
together with Comet Leonard being closest to Earth on December 12th. So I wanted to look up uh, the Bible verse of the day from, and this is where we're going to get into this piece of information that I want to share with you that is really, is, is really the new piece of information um, beyond what I've shared with you in the past and this other information that we've gone over. But uh, I wanted to look at May 14th, 1948, and I want to look at the Bible verse that corresponds to the number of days from the rebirth of Israel. Okay? 26,875 days from May 14th, 1948 to December 12th, 2021. Okay? And here is what uh, I found. And... Uh, if we go to uh, NewJerusalem.org and we put in here 26,875, okay, this is going to bring us to John 20, verse 7, okay? John 20, verse 7. And here is a piece of... Uh, information or a message that has been given many many times about the coming of Jesus Christ and I found this just amazing amazing enough to share with you because I don't want to be trying to grasp at straws because December 12th looks good to me personally but we do have these signs in the heavens we do have Comet Leonard uh, we do have this other information that we have shared with you uh, about the heavenly signs on December 12th. And so John 20, verse 7 says, And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. This is the verse of the day. If we count one verse per day from the rebirth of Israel, May 14th, 1948, on December 12th, 2021, this would be the verse of the day. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Okay, have you ever heard the message of why Jesus folded the napkin? Why did Jesus fold the napkin? If a person is at a, a table and is going to get up and they're not going to come back to their seat, then they leave their napkin all bunched up or just thrown down any which way. And that is the sign for the, for the uh, waiters or for the waitresses to to clean up that space because that person is not going to be coming back to at, to the table okay so why did Jesus fold the napkin well if you're going to come back okay if you're going to come back then when you get up to excuse yourself to the bathroom or to to chat with some friends or to get up for any other reason from the table, but you're not done yet with your place and you're not done with your meal, then you fold your napkin and you leave your napkin folded there at your place. And that is the sign that you're coming back. Okay. So I've heard this message a number of times in the past. Why did Jesus fold the napkin? And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes that were just left there, but wrapped together in a place by itself. And I found this very significant that I wanted to share with you that on December 12th, this is the verse of the day. Is this the sign that goes together with Comet Leonard? Is this the sign 
that goes with this planetary alignment that can be best seen on December 12th? Is this the sign that goes together with the location of Comet Leonard on December 12th, closest to Earth, in Ophiuchus, ready to cast out the enemy? Ready to cast out the serpent right here on December 12th. And is this the meaning of this Bible verse and the reason why Jesus folded his napkin right here in John chapter 20, verse 7, the verse of the day for December 12th, 2021. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Jesus folded the napkin. And by folding the napkin, he said, I am coming again. I am coming again. Now, before I close, I want to add one piece of information here that in the same sequence of verses, if we look at verse number 26,875, from the beginning of the Bible, we come to John 20, verse 7, it gives us the sign of the napkin. But if we go from the end of the Bible, the same right here in the same screenshot, if we go from the end of the Bible, from the end, 26,875 verses, brings us to number 1632. And this Bible verse says, And the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed them up in their houses, and all the men that appertain unto Korah and all their goods. Okay, is this a sign together with the return of Jesus Christ, the napkin of Jesus Christ, and all of the other details that we see that could be lining up for December 12th also when it says, the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed them up in their houses and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods and the judgment of God that came upon the people that came against Moses. Okay, so I found this to be very significant and I wanted to add this uh, in here together with this message. We are all weary and tired and ready and waiting we have seen all of the messages. We have heard all of the midnight cries. We have heard so many times, behold, the bridegroom comes. And yet we have been through delay after delay after delay. And we're all so weary and tired and anxious and excited and devastated by the delays that just keep coming and coming and coming and uh, over the last couple days I have just found myself I mean first of all my channel my main channel was taken down for seven days I'm, I'm blocked off of my main channel secondly I don't know what more I can do anyway even if I have the channel there I don't know what more I can share what more I can say it just seems like the signs are so ominous and so so real, so imminent that at any moment Jesus is just he's at the door. We don't know when he's coming. We're we're trying to understand when he's coming, but over the last couple of days I've just found myself really overtaken by sorrow just out of nowhere, just starting to cry and weep and it's just really you know, the, the destruction is about to hit, the world is about to burn, the, 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 the wrath of God is going to come, and there's nothing we can do or say to stop it anymore, yet most people are still not ready, most people are still in denial, most people are just, you know, they're going to be taken totally, totally by surprise when we are so sh sure, we're, we're, we're seeing all of the signs so sure that Jesus Christ is at the door. And yet the majority of people have no idea at all. 
And so just over the last couple of days, I found myself really just weeping from sorrow, weeping from anguish and from sadness, knowing that we are so close, yet there's nothing more we can really do. So I just wanted to share this piece of information with you about the folded napkin of Jesus Christ on December 12th, 2021. Is this just another coincidence of all the things that we are watching and seeing each and every time we have a watch day come and go? Always a sign, never ending signs. We're tired of the disappointments. So we just say, Lord, please come. Maranatha, come for your people. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you are coming soon. We do not know the day or the hour, but we wait with expectation. This is what I wanted to share with you today. Just a personal thought that I saw and wanted to pass on to you. Hopefully this will be of some type of encouragement to you. Again, I'm sorry I'm not able to share this on my main channel. If this was a blessing to you, please share uh, this message with others. Have a wonderful day and hopefully we will be seeing you very, very soon. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.